Welcome back. Today I've got another Borderlands 2 build for you guys of the Vault Hunter Salvador, the Gunzerker. I'll be going over his level 30 build, which you can uh, get a level 30 character at the start of the game with the Lilith DLC. So I'll be going over what weapons you should go and grab at the start of the game, and what skill points I'd recommend as well at level 30. So we'll start over with the skill points. Uh, this is the build right here. There's not much to it obviously because it's a level 30 build. Um, and just before we jump into it, uh, if you could give us a like and subscribe, that will be much appreciated. And if you have any feedback or any other type of content that you want me to make, then just feel free to say it in the comments. Um, Alright, let's do it. So I would start off in the gun lust tree, and I would get the lock and loaded reloading your guns increases fire rate for a short time. This will increase the fire rate by 25%, so that's quite nice after reloading your gun. Then we have quick draw, which is good for weapon swap speed, so that increases weapon swap speed for 35% and gives you a critical hit damage by 10%. And then the main skill that you want to go for will be money shot. So this this skill right here just does absolutely massive damage. Um, so pretty much what it does is the last round fired from a magazine deals massive increased damage with guns. Uh, with huge mags um, tend to have uh, more damage as well. So guns of smaller magazines uh, receive a smaller bonus and the skill works with every single gun in the game. Um, there is a glitch, I'm not entirely sure that if it's patched but I might go overlook it after this video but I'm pretty sure there's a money shot train uh, glitch where you can just endlessly uh, shoot money shot on the last shot but yeah I will look into that um, I haven't done that one in a while but you yeah, definitely want to pick this up and then you want to move over to rampage and you want to get filled the broom which increases your magazine size by 25% with all guns and your arrow ammo carrying capacity with all guns as well by 15% so that's quite nice and then we have last longer just increases your duration of gun zerking by 15 seconds so that's just an extra 15 seconds of running around with two guns um, and yeah the skills I would choose after uh, that would either be I would either spec down into this tree and try to get yippee kaye and double your fun because that means this will bring your gun zerking up uh, pretty much most of the time every time you kill an enemy this increases the duration of gun zerking um, and then lay the waste is good uh, huckleberry is good if you're using the double penetrating unkept herald so once you go into true vault hunter mode you can actually farm savage lee uh, which is at the start of the game um, and yeah that's pretty much the best pistol in the game so if you get this skill uh i'm your huckleberry will increase your pistol damage by 15 percent and your reload speed by 15 percent and then if you grab a slag pistol um this will also increase your damage with the double penetrating unkept herald uh by having the same type of gun as well and then you'll also be slagging the enemies, so you'll just do massive damage with the uh, unkept herald. Later waste is good. Uh, down not out is also good. Auto loaders decent. Um, piping hot's good. Overkill's good. But yeah, I have a full build guide if you want to go. If you want to see that, um, an OP10 Salvador build uh, on my channel as well. Uh, I won't go over every skill. But yeah, you can go look at that as well. But yeah, anyways. Um, so what I have in my inventory is pretty much what I've done is every single character in the game starts off with a unique gun to themselves. So what you can pretty much do is you can either drop, load up the Psycho or the Siren or whatever. Drop the gun to a either your friend online or if you have a second controller you can drop his unique gun or his shield whatever you want like I've picked pretty much all the best gear from all the vault hunters and just put them on all of my characters just to showcase you it 
um, and then drop the weapons and gear to your split screen character and then swap it over to like let's say your Gunzerka or Siren. So pretty much what I've done is I've swapped over like the Absorb Shield which you can go get the Logan's gun from Wilhelm pair this with this absorption shield which you can get from one of the vault hunters and then have infinite rockets by shooting yourself with the logan's gun which i'd highly recommend farming a butter boom from king mong which you can do straight away um it'll probably take you 20 to 30 runs but if you get real lucky you can get it in like 5 to 10 it took me about 15 to 20 to get this um today but yeah, I definitely recommend grabbing a butter boom as well. Um, and then, yeah, like the Hive, the Lascal, Hail, uh, Lady Fist, Heartbreaker, uh, this Relic. All this can be duped from your other characters. And these are all the unique guns that I've swapped over to my other characters. You can either give it to them or you can do the duplication get glitch and duplicate the guns multiple times so you have them on every single character. Then I have other weapons like the Bone Shredder which you can get from um, the Arid Badlands. Uh, it's just a decent SMG. You can get the Good Touch and Bad Touch from just tipping Moxie. It's just an easy... Uh, corrosive and fire smg that does real good damage um quite easy to get i swapped over this shotgun because it does slag damage um this one is oh, also another thing that i'll note is you can also just grab your golden keys and uh farm the chest like five to ten times and then get a better class mod, um, better guns like this double penetrating injector. It's pretty much like a average version of the uncapped Herald. Like it's it's good in normal mode and true vault hunter mode. Like you don't actually need the uncapped Herald. It's a bit like overkill for that. Um, but you can get like guns like this from the chest as well. It's just a good way just to start the game. It's just swap all the weapons over, grab the Moxie gun uh, bone shredder uh, farm the barter boom you can also get the conference call from the warrior uh, the bee shield from the trees this is all before you go uh, to true vol hunter mode and yeah you can just grab all these guns and then swap them around to all your other characters and then just start off with just a bunch of guns um, before you go into true vol hunter mode like the lady fist is really good but yeah, if you if you find like a quad shotgun, then yeah, just just grab it. But that's essentially what I've done, and I'll write in the description as well of like what I would do at the start before going into true vault hunter mode. Um, what gear to grab, what gear to duplicate, etc. So you can read all that. It'll, it's also on my other videos as well, my other level thirty videos. But yeah, I'll show you some gameplay now. Obviously it's going to be really easy because it's normal mode, but yeah, let's just go in and kick some ass. But yeah, you can um, grab this barter boom and this will just like melt everything, eh? It's such a good rocket launcher. And then also, another good thing to note if you farm this right now, you get to OP10, you can use this for rocket jumping as well. So you can keep this in your bank and then duplicate it and then you can rocket jump with them as well because it's a really low level one. But yeah, like the uh, Moxie gun, this is a corrosive SMG, like, this just absolutely mounts, and then if you find a corrosive relic, that's an extra 18% damage on all your corrosive guns. Look at that, like, it just absolutely destroys them, if you grab these guns. Like, it just makes the game so easy. And the shotgun, you can, so, like... Honestly, you don't even need to slag and swap as well with the shotgun. You pretty much can just run through and just shoot the shotgun.
yeah, it's just a lot better way to start the game than just having like one unique gun and then all the rest are like really average. And then I will show you the show you a bit of the hive, a bit of the Lascaux. Um, definitely get a quad. They're absolutely amazing dispatch shotguns on Salvador. Yeah, butter boom, one shot, boom. And then I'll just wait for this guy. Boom, they're dead. They're dead. It's just, it just makes it so much easier. Like, if you're new to the game and you grab all these guns, like, it's just gonna make your life so much easier. Like, look at that, it just absolutely shreds. Oh, I'm dead. And yeah, like, I don't have a high badass rank on this character, like, I can turn it off. But the reason why my badass rank's so low is because I've had multiple accounts um, on PlayStation, Xbox 360, I've played on PC, like, I've had so many accounts, so many times I've gotten to level 72, etc. on so many different accounts. But yeah, all that damage, I'll show you, that's with, like, pretty much like a normal badass rank, but I can show you with uh, no badass rank, so it's a uh, fair ground. Yeah, that's the hive. I ran out of ammo there, actually. I'll show you the shotgun as well. Yeah. Just make your life so much easier doing all of this. I'm not going to run through to the warrior and kill it, but yeah, I just wanted to show you a little bit of gameplay on all these guns. And the reason why I would pick, like, these skills at the start. Um, and then, yeah, you'd, like, get Yippee Kaye, double your fun. Uh, these two, and then you can get the double penetrating unkept herald. This to Gunzerk and fight for your life. This is just a great kill skill. Uh, this one's good. I'll, I'll just go a quick overview. Then I would go and do this as well. I probably wouldn't just I wouldn't touch this tree. I would just focus on these two. This one doesn't really matter. Like it's got a couple of good skills, like out of bubble gum. This one's all good, asbestos, but you, you really just don't need them, honestly. Like, you, it, you can use it, but then you're sort of just locked in to, like, a certain shield to use the fire rate one and stuff, which I don't really like. I like a bit of variety, but it's sort of just an each to own. Swap that, because I ran out of ammo. Um, what should I put? I'll show you the Bone Shredder as well. Bone Shredder. Find like a good shock weapon for the Shred Shield. But that's a badass server. Boom, dead. It's not even a matching element either. Last cow. Now. Oh yeah, and that grenade as well is just also awesome just to play through. Like, as soon as you get to the new um, playthrough, I'd also go and grab a fast ball as well from the uh, boss called Ball. Looks like a mini boss. Also just a great grenade, you can look at a guide on that on YouTube. But yeah, I just wanted to show a little bit of gameplay, the guns I'd recommend using at the start. Obviously, there's other gear as well. And yeah, just look at the description and boom, that's the build. These are all the guns, and yeah.
Hope you enjoyed and uh, see you guys in the next, next one.